Let's now talk once again to Andrew Greif of The Oregonian, who has done outstanding reporting on this for his product. Uh, so the question arises, and we heard it raised to the president, when the school learned of the identities of the players under investigation, and I guess there's the presidential knowledge of this and the athletic department knowledge of this. So what, what, what light can you shed on this? Well, Goffertson, as, as you said, as he said there in that clip, he knew before the NCAA tournament that it was Austin Dotson, an artist named. Um, I, I've been told that, that Altman was notified before the NCAA tournament, a couple days beforehand, that uh, some of his players were under an unspecified investigation, but I was told, uh, don't worry, you know, it's just, it's, it, investigation is still open, you are fine to play them um, as unspecified as they are. Mullen said today that they made contingency plans that in case names were learned, um, that they could send them home from the tournament early. But they, so they say that, of course, uh, that they did not know the names that, that the coach and that the AD did not. However, they knew something was going on. All right. Then is the issue of Brandon Austin, one of the three players who had transferred in from Providence College. He had been accused of sexual assault in Rhode Island. Uh, what did Oregon know about this is one of the questions on the table. Oregon says it did not know any that he was linked to any kind of sexual assault investigation in Rhode Island. He'd been dismissed, or excuse me, he'd been suspended for the season on December 23rd, along with a teammate for not upholding his conduct as student athlete. Um, in March, it came out that it was a sexual assault investigation he'd been named in, and that's when Oregon said at the NCAA tournament that they that was the first time they found out. Uh, you go you go back through and you listen to kind of what Ed Cooley, the Providence head coach, said at the time what Dana Altman said, and Dana Altman said that um, he basically believed it was not a serious matter, that it was a student code of conduct issue, not a police issue, and so that is why he did, as he says, and the AD says, that they did not think it was as bad as it, as it was.